energy and energy efficiency are at the forefront of everyone's minds. Whether it is in the home, at work or whilst travelling, people are more focused than ever on how to conserve energy and save money. Now, in the 21st century, we are beginning to see the positive effects of advances in technology. Domestic energy consumption is declining, thanks to a variety of new products and better property design. New LCD televisions, energy-saving light bulbs and better draft proofing have meant that energy is now used more efficiently in the home. However, we can all relate to the increasing demand for products that use energy. Mobile phones charging, games consoles and dishwashers are now commonplace. The UK government's targets to reduce our uh, CO2 emissions by 80% by the year 2050 are some of the most ambitious targets out in the world at the moment. And as a nation, I think we're extremely aware of the fact that we need to start doing something. But also looking at the schemes and initiatives that are out there to help people be more energy efficient. Uh, so the grants that are available, the feed-in tariffs that are available for um, electricity generation. These are the kind of innovative things that in the UK we're doing um, that other countries might not quite be as, um, as advanced as we are. So I think we're, we're well on track. Um, but it's about taking it further and further every single time. And, and again, I can't stress that, that that is the responsibility of everybody to get involved if we're going to start meeting those targets. The Energy Saving Trust is a non-profit organisation that provides free and impartial advice on how to stop wasting energy and start saving money. In recent years, the topic of energy efficiency has become a big part of our culture and in turn our day-to-day -day lives, and more and more people are actively seeking new ways to go green. There is always room for improvement in our knowledge, but we are gradually becoming more aware of the need to protect the planet around us by altering our attitudes toward energy. Yeah, there are lots more people taking measures, kind of both individually in their homes and working together as communities um, to act together and, and you know, do things to their, all their homes together people are seeing that these things are saving their neighbours money so they, they realise that it makes sense and it's not a kind of a weird eco-warrior thing to do, it's just becoming normal. A simple way to approach energy efficiency is to divide your home into four main areas. Space heating, water heating, lights and appliances and cooking. The majority of household energy consumption is for space heating. There are two main ways of increasing efficiency in this area high efficiency boilers and insulation. However, EOS Energy offer a renewable solution in the UK. Alumet's business has um, been sort of year, years, years and years of uh, doing facades for uh, buildings. Um, so anything from a small office block all the way up to something like Canary Wharf, we, we, we do projects of all sizes. Um, I think the largest we ever did was six and a half million for the Ministry of Defence, so quite a large project. We um, specialise in uh, providing bespoke solutions for renewable energy issues. Um, we are very focused on PV at the moment, but mainly because that is the top rate of tariff and that is what we're seeing the, the biggest demand for. We intend to move to a complete uh, building management energy systems sort of uh, consultancy company where we can take your building and make it more energy efficient. That is the idea behind everything we do. Our main expertise is in the commercial sphere, so factories and office buildings, uh, uh, properties like that. But we are looking as well, working with councils to, to green their properties. Coventry City Council is a great example. They've got a great um, environmental vision there for 2020. We run a large dealership net network where, around the country where you can become an EOS dealer. And that's how we get to all the uh, domestic properties nationwide. So we do operate nationally, but um, our, our main core focus in this office is uh, to work on commercial projects. Um, EOS has sort of spawned out of the fact that we did a lot of building integrated photovoltaic panels um, for many years. So in the facades of buildings, we've probably been doing that for eight years. More of kind of eco bling, if you like, for, for years gone by. But um, uh, yeah, the last couple of years we've seen more and more of it. Uh, so EOS is a natural extension, really, of what we were what we were doing on the other side of the business. Now we've moved into not just building integrated, but roof mounted, ground mounted structures. Well, there are two different types of solar panels. The first type of solar electricity panels that generate electricity for your home. These are usually connected to the electricity grid, so any electricity you don't use in the home gets sent back to the grid. Now, recently, the government's brought in what they call feed-in tariffs, and this has completely transformed the economics of these systems. The myths, yeah, the, the fact that 
150 uh, cloudy days aren't going to do anything for you and the rest of them not even the, the sun not even coming out um, that that is one of the things we are fighting against but the the real the real issue is the type of panel you use so some panels work really well through direct sunlight and that's the way they're geared up so they work great in an environment like Spain but we uh, we see other panels so the amorphous variety um, and thin film uh, which is emerging as a technology um, a, a much more viable technology uh, they work off diffuse light so don't need direct sunlight f um, to produce electricity and there we're, we're seeing the advent of that in this country is becoming the, probably the most viable technology in a lot of situations because obviously our climate doesn't really have a lot of direct sunlight. I think if you uh, run a busy household with large electricity uh, needs then there's something you should look at at the moment because if you're in in the day, um, which many people are. Um, then it can be it can be a great uh, a great way to balance out your electricity demand. Um, also, for many years, it was probably well PV was seen as a, a very difficult and inaccessible technology just because of cost, because of lack of skills in the country, because of all, all sorts of different um, different variables. But now, because of the feed-in tariff, it, it has become accessible to people, and um, you can work on a kind of a pay of, pay as you save uh, scheme. So, say you pay, say it's a ten thousand pound system, you borrow the ten thousand pounds and then pay that loan back against your feed-in feed-in tariff payments. Um, so that's that's for, for one set of people, but if you have your own money, you've got about 10 grand knocking around at the moment. And also the fact that uh, it, is do it is doing your bit for, for um, greening our economy um, and creating green jobs in the UK. Focusing on each of the four main areas of domestic energy use, we can see big improvements that can be made as well as small lifestyle changes that will help. The best option will often be a fix and forget solution, something that saves you money while you relax at home. The photovoltaic system offered by EOS Energy is an example of fix and forget in action. Photovoltaic panels in theory should be permitted development on a residential dwelling but if you are in a conservation area or in a grade listed building then there are problems that are involved there with as there would be with anything so changing the tiles on it, changing the paint on it, those problems are, are ever present but it, it, it seems to me that planners are becoming more and more um, keyed into it really, they're more and more educated um, and a lot of these older older dwellings are actually allowing these uh, photovoltaic panels to go through um, and be passed through planning so I think um, the education is definitely there. The first point of call is to probably look on the MCS register, the Micro Generation Certification Scheme Register, which um, you can find online. And every single uh, installer that's accredited under that scheme will be, can be found on there. Um, there'll be the local ones, there's a few national ones such as EOS, um, which might be able to help you out. Um, but that is your first port of call. And then once you've done that, get the guys round. Um, they'll normally uh, set a date with you to say, OK, we can come and survey your property. Um, they'll look at your property, assess whether it's viable, um, assess your electrical uh, setup that you have there already and see whether it needs upgrading, because that is that can be an issue. Um, so a lot of old, sort of old housing stock, which um, doesn't really comply with regulations um, today. So that can be a, a sort of hidden cost you've got to be aware of. Um, but yeah, once you've got them around, they surveyed the place, they normally have a quote out to you within a week or, or something like that, depending on their workload. <laughs> um, and then from there on in, you can there, uh, there are a number of options. So some companies are offering free PV at the moment, where they take they, they install for free and then take the feed-in tariff themselves. Um, there's a financing option, um, so you could probably get finance through your bank, potentially like a soft loan or something like that, or you can finance it yourself. Um, and then selection of, of products should be either done um, on best value, uh, on whether you want the greenest product, so potentially from the, from the small amount of uh, UK producers that there are, um, and or whatever the guy's got in stock at the moment, you know, there's, there's many options out there. Um, so y you've gone through that process, the guys, uh, the guys have come in and fitted you, uh, fitted you a PV panels, then hopefully they'll do the paperwork for you, which gets sent off to the uh, district net network operator, and within potentially three months, they think is the backlog at the moment, um, you could be receiving feed-in tariff payments. But hopefully from day one, you should be saving money. The amount of energy consumed in the home is affected by two main factors demand and efficiency. Over the last 20 years, there has been a 15% increase in demand and a 20% increase in efficiency. The latest statistics suggest that the housing sector in the UK is, year on year, becoming 2% more efficient. VFAs are at the forefront of a new technology that makes electrical products more efficient. VFAs is a 
technology company who developed a, an innovative technology that lowers and regulates the incoming voltage into the house. Um, what it does is actually saves electricity, saves money and reduces the carbon emissions from the house. Reducing energy consumption to V-phase is very important, is what the product is, is all about. V-phase is actually suitable for most households in the UK. It takes the incoming voltage in the UK, which is typically around 245 volts, lowers it to what we have as our default setting of 220 volts. And the thing is, in the UK, since the early 90s, all appliances um, and electrical equipment have had to work across the EU range of voltage. So it's as low as 207 volts and as high as 253 volts. So by lowering it to 220 volts, we're still well within the the manufacturer's safeguard limits, so it'll work fine, you'll save money. You know, it's, it's a no-brainer really when you think about it. It goes next to the fuse box as well, so it's, it's either under the stairs or in a cupboard or in a garage somewhere. And the beauty of the product is that it's a, a fit and forget solution. It requires no maintenance, so once it's installed it just goes on silently saving money for the homeowner. We actually provide a five-year warranty, so with the cost being under £250, you're typically expecting payback periods of under five years, so it makes it a risk-free investment as well. It's, it's all about reducing wastage. What we're trying to do is make it clear to consumers that they can do these small things that actually make a big impact on both their, their pocket and the environment. So installing V-phase voltage optimization will save around 10% on their electricity bills, but it'll also, over the life of the product, save around four tonnes of, of CO2 emissions, um, which, which is hugely important. Obviously people are concerned about the environment, but they're also concerned about their own um, well-being and, and sort of wealth, if you like. Um, so that, that's the real sort of key message that we want to get across. The Energy Saving Trust aims to promote the products and services that increase efficiency, whilst also educating the public about how to lower their demand. If efficiency continues to increase and demand was to decrease, then the UK will lead the developed world in reducing carbon emissions. Join us after the break. Through our dedicated national dealership network, EOS Energy provides high quality renewable energy solutions. EOS Energy aims to readdress the energy balance in Great Britain, providing distributed clean power to the people. Providing the complete package is where EOS Energy aims to beat the rest. We specialize in providing solutions that remove all concern for the customer. Utilising state-of-the-art photovoltaic or solar systems, EOS Energy designs, supply and install turnkey solutions for generating electricity. We tailor our solutions to best suit our commercial and domestic clients' power requirements. As a supplier of fully accredited equipment, we take customer service very seriously. All of our panels carry a 25-year performance guarantee, and the rest of our systems are backed by the most comprehensive guarantees in the industry. To discuss your requirements or to become part of our dedicated dealer network,